Pandurang Vaman Kane, pronounced Ka the 7th of May 1880 to the 8th of May 1972, was a notable Indologist and Sanskrit scholar. He received India's highest civilian award Bharat Ratna in 1963 for his scholarly work that spanned more than 40 years of active academic research that resulted in 6500 pages of history of Dharmasastra. The historian Ram Shuran Sharma says Pandurang Vaman Kane, a great Sanskritist wedded to social reform, continued the earlier tradition of scholarship. His monumental work entitled The History of the Dharmasastra, published in five volumes in the 20th century, is an encyclopedia of ancient social laws and customs. This enables us to study the social processes in ancient India. Topic famous works Dr. Kane is famous for his magnum opus in English, History of Dharmasastra, subtitled Ancient and Medieval Religions and Civil Law in India. This work researched the evolution of code of conduct in ancient and medieval India by looking into several texts and manuscripts compiled over the centuries. It was published in five volumes, the first volume was published in 1930 and the last, in 1962. It runs to a total of more than 6,500 pages. Dr. Kane used the resources available at prestigious institutes such as the Asiatic Society of Mumbai and Bhandarkar Oriental Research Institute, among others. The work is known for its expanse and depth, ranging across diverse subjects such as the Mahabharata, the Puranas and Chanakya, including references to previously obscure sources. The richness in the work is attributed to his in-depth knowledge of Sanskrit. His success is believed to be an outcome of his objective study of the texts instead of deifying them. Kane wrote the book Vyavaharamayuka and was in the process of writing an introductory passage on the history of Dharmasastra for this book so that the reader would get an overall idea apart from the subject of the book. One thing led to another and this project snowballed into the major work that it is. All the same, he was categorical in saying that it is difficult to find an English equivalent of the word Dharma. His output in the form of writings across the three languages of English, Sanskrit and Marathi spans nearly 15,000 pages. History of Poetics was one of his other great books. Apart from theology and poetry, he wrote a great deal on other topics too, which included astrology, cultural and geographical history of India Maharashtra Konkan Vidarbha, Marathi language, its grammar, language and handwriting, economics of Kautilya Chanakya, mathematics, dramatics, etc. There are in all 198 publications by his name. They include 39 texts, 115 articles, 44 books, introductions and reviews. Recognition Dr. Kane was rewarded as Mahamahopadaya etymology, Maha plus Maha plus Upadhyay equals the greatest among the great teachers, usually shortened to him as a prefix in the writings that refer to him. He served as the vice-chancellor of the University of Mumbai. His services were requisitioned and enlisted for establishing Kurukshetra University in Indic studies. He was awarded the Sahitya Akademi Award in 1956 for History of Dharmasastra, Volume 4 for his research under the Sanskrit translation category. He was also an honorary member of the Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan. He was nominated to the Rajya Sabha as a member of parliament for his distinguished record in the field of academics. The highest accolade bestowed upon him was the Bharat Ratna in 1963. Indian law Kane believed that the constitution of India made a complete break with the traditional ideas prevalent in India by engendering a false notion among the people that they have rights but no obligations. Given the encyclopedic and authoritative nature of his work, it is often used in debates in polity. One such issue that cropped up during Adil Bihari Vajpayee government was whether ancient Indians ate beef and both the groups quoted extensively from Kane's work to support their viewpoint. This issue became important as Hindus traditionally revere the cow as a mother and hence eating of beef is prohibited. Another such issue was whether the girls in the ancient times had the right to wear the Yanopavita sacred thread, as the Upanayana ceremony was restricted only to the men in the recent past. Legacy To commemorate him, the Asiatic Society of Mumbai has established the Am. 
Dr. P. V. Kane Institute for Postgraduate Studies and Research in 1974 to promote, encourage and facilitate research in Oriental Studies. Also, M. Dr. P. V. Kane Gold Medal is given once every three years to a scholar for outstanding contribution to the study of Vedic, Dharmashastra or Alankara literature. See also Dharmasastra and Dharma <laughs>